Hello everyone, my name is Marcus M. Hempis and welcome to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. <music> Saudi Arabia is located in the Middle East between the Arabian Gulf and the Red Sea. It is the birthplace of Islam and home to Islam's two holiest shrines in Mecca and Medina. The world's second largest religion, Islam, emerged in modern-day Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia officially joined the United Nations on October 24, 1945. It consists mostly of desert plateaus and large reserves of petroleum and natural gas. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's capital and main financial hub, is on a desert plateau in the country's center. It is where the world's 31st tallest building, named the Kingdom Center, is located. Here are some of the amazing spots you could visit in Saudi Arabia. Al Yule. It is a stunning area in the kingdom's northwest that is scattered with golden rock formations, lush citrus farms, and the remains of several ancient kingdoms. Jebel Firen, also known as the edge of the world, is a geological wonder in the rocky desert northwest of Riyadh. And lastly, Al Asa is a traditional oasis historical region in eastern Saudi Arabia and the largest oasis in the world. Thank you so much for watching my vlog on Saudi Arabia and happy United Nations Day! Do you want nice people or justice and equality? Well, Canada is for you. A very cold country with the warm hearts of its people. Speaking of the cold, Canada's favorite sport is ice hockey. It's a very cold country, so might as well make it a sport. Goal chart. Canada has a lot of beautiful places, like Niagara Falls. It has three waterfalls and produces a large amount of electricity. Oh, the Whistler. This place is known for skiing and snowboarding. Safe to assume that many people have fun here. Victoria's Inner Harbor is the heart of the city, a place where you can see all sorts of boats and float plane activities. The beautiful northern lights, they honestly look like moving ribbons in space. You should try the foods here, like Poutine! P-O-U-T-I-N-E Poutine! They're fries, but with gravy and cheddar cheese. Butter tarts. Obviously consists with butter, and in the middle are pecans. Pecan butter tart. Annyeonghaseyo, Jonan! Ariana Mnida! Alam nyo na ba kung anong bansa ang ituturo ko sa inyo? Kung Korea ang hula nyo, tama kayo. Halika at samahan nyo ako matutunan kung ano ang nasa South Korea. Bakit nga ba South Korea? South Korea ang tawag dito dahil ang Korea ay hinate sa dalawang parte, ang North at ang South. Paano nga ba ito nahate? Noong Agosto 10, 1945 hanggang Agosto 17, 1945 ang Japan ay sumuko na sa laban. Ang Korean Peninsula ay nagsimula ng mahate. Ang US ang kumontrol sa South Korea habang ang Soviet naman ang kumontrol sa North Korea. Simula na nahati na ito at nilagyan na nila ng border. Sinasabi din nila na pag nakita ka ng militar na lumagpas sa border, maaari ka nilang hulihin o barilin. Depende na lang kapag ikaw ay papapasukin. Hanggang dyan na lang tayo at magtungo na tayo sa South Korea. Kilala ang South Korea dahil sa mga sumusunod. Surgery, makeup, mga pagkain, k-drama, at k-pop idols. Mas nakilala ang South Korea dahil sa grupong BTS o Bang Tan Son Yun Dan. Sila ang pinakamalaki ng boy group at kilalang kilala sa buong mundo. Marami ang humahanga sa kanila, mapafan man ito o hindi. Sila ay kilala dahil sa magaganda nilang kanta at mabubuting puso. Kahit ang kanilang presidente na si Moon Jae-in ay sobrang humahanga sa kanila. Pero hindi lang sila ang grupo na K-pop. Meron ding Blackpink and Hypen, TXT o Tomorrow by Together at marami pang iba. 
Pero, hindi lang dito kilala ang South Korea. Kilala rin ito dahil sa kanilang magagandang tanawin at masasarap na pagkain, katulad ng kimchi, tokboki at ramen na uso rin ang samgyupsal. Siyempre, marami pang iba, kaso hanggang doon na lamang tayo. Maganda na marami tayong natututunan sa iba't ibang bansa at sana may natutunan kayo sa aking mga sinabi. Ayun lamang po at salamat! Annyeong chingus!